Alright everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to make a program and a program is very similar to a diurnal except that um, you have more customization on when lights go on and off as well as you can do multiple steps of temperature changes and light changes in a single day. And these are useful for more complex experiments as well as um, being chained. Multiple programs can be chained into a sequence which is a multi-day step process where many changes can happen, which is great for uh, temperature activation or um, day-night light changes for experiments. And so how we're going to make a program is we press the program button and we scroll down to create program. And the naming system for programs is uh, the date. So today is 10-22 2021 so we have two digits for each um, for each number of the date 10 22 21 and then the last two digits are in the order that they're created you can always customize this name if you wanted to um, I usually don't though just because uh, I'm lazy I guess uh, make make a note though in your lab notebook what each program does in detail so that um, you can refer back instead of making multiple programs over and over. If you're doing similar experiments, you can use pre-existing programs. So for this one, we're going to use the given name, which is just the first one that's been made on this day. We'll press enter. And your options are to either quit or add a step. So we have to add steps to a program in order for it to be of any use. So the first step is typically the morning uh, whatever happens first thing in the morning. So you'll choose a step time and then you'll choose some variables that'll happen. So we're gonna make a program that let's have it start in the a.m. It'll start at 7 a.m. Very similar to our diurnal that we made in the last video. Alright, so we're gonna do 7 a.m. and then at 7 a.m. we are going to have the temperature set to 21 and the lights will be on okay so this is pretty uh, pretty normal for a, a morning step okay now we have one step and we press the program button again and we can either add a step we can edit a step that's been previously made or we can quit so let's add another step and we're gonna make a nighttime step So let's say we're going to do a 12-12 day-night cycle. So if we started at 7 a.m., we want to end the day at 7 p.m. But let's say we're doing a sleep experiment and we want activation at night. So we will ramp temperature up to 31 degrees at night in order to activate some neurons. Okay, so we'll set the step time to 7 p.m. We'll set the step temperature to 31, which is a good temperature for uh, neuron activation with uh, DTRF-A1. And we want the lights off because this is a nighttime cycle. Okay, so this is a really simple program we've made. And we can take a look at it by from this main menu, pressing the up and down arrows. It gives you a general idea of what's going to happen. So step one is at 7 a.m., 21 degrees. Lights are one, which means on in binary. And we have 7 p.m., 31 degrees. Lights are zero, which is off in binary. And there's a simple program. So if you wanted to, if you made a mistake perhaps, you can enter and view setup. You can enter this and you can look at your steps, multiple step times. Um, you just have to select which one you want to change. So let's say we made an error in our first set. Let's say we wanted this to be 25 degrees. So first we have to, to scroll over it using the arrow keys. And then we press program, edit view step, and it'll let us change the temperature. Let's say we want it to be 25 degrees instead of 21 degrees. So we don't have to, we don't have to delete the step and remake it. We can just change, just make a few changes, okay? And, of course, we can add another step if we wanted something to happen midday. 
we can uh, edit those steps, we can delete steps, and we can quit. So let's say we made our program and it's just a one-day experiment for some reason. So we would quit, and if we wanted to enact this program, we go and we run program, and then we have to select it. And if we recall what number it was, it was 10222101. So we would press enter, and from this point, the program starts being ran. And we'll see the incubator is cooling, and it will it will go to. Oh no, this program is at 25, so it, it should warm up and go to 25. So that was a simple program. Um, in the next video, we'll talk about um, chaining multiple programs together to make a sequence. So what I'll do is I'll make a couple different programs similar to this one that we just made now. And in the next video, I'll, I'll show you how to, to chain them together.